Hey, welcome to another episode of Atkins Diet in the Kitchen. My name is, of course, Kent Altona. And I'd like to, guys, remind you of the contest or the giveaway that I had in my last episode. Make sure you enter that SurveyMonkey link and make sure you put your name in for the three grand prizes. This week's episode, however, we're going to be doing with another low-carb conversion food. What's the number one food in America that kids love to eat when they're growing up? Pizza. And I already tried one, making one of my low-carb pizzas in the past. However, that one's been lost to his, history because of the poor video nature of that, of that video. But I'm going to make my new favorite low-carb pizza recipe, courtesy of Jennifer Eloff. So, first things first. I need two cups of cheese in here. I'm going to be using half cheddar and half mozzarella. To that, I'm going to add a half a cup of Jennifer Eloff's baking mitts. And the question might be, what makes for a good low-carb pizza recipe? Well, to me, it has to do two things. One, the crust has to taste like a pizza. It has to taste like an actual crust, otherwise you might as well just be nuking some cheese in the, mi in the microwave and putting some sauce on it. The second thing it has to do is stay up. It, it can't be a floppy crust. And that's notorious for a lot of the low-carb crusts is, that are made out of just eggs and cheese, is that they flop over, that they can't stand up to the toppings that you put on. All right, to this I need to add a third of a cup of butter, melted, and one egg white whisk. Okay, so I've whisked the egg whites. You can see that I've added some levity to it. One of the things, the reason you want to do this is to add, make sure your crust is not just a hard blob. So pour that in. And pour in the rest of your butter. Scrape down the sides of both bowls. And you want to fold in the rest of the liquids or the rest of the ingredients into one another. All right, now that it's sufficiently mixed up through each other, the original recipe called for a greased cookie sheet, and I like to use parchment paper instead. So take the parchment paper and quarter it. And the reason we do this is because, you know, I'm a guy. I can't cut circles to save my life. And this way helps me out. So basically cut a quarter of a circle into the parchment paper and unfold it. And there's roughly a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to cover the pan. To this, we want to scrape out our mixture. I'm going to set my oven for 375 while I have a chance. And to get it into the correct position, rip out your plastic wrap. And just layer it on top and smush it out with your hand.
All right, so we got the mixture into basically a circular form. Once my oven preheats to 375, we're going to put it in the oven for 10 minutes. We'll catch back up then. Bye. All right, the pizza's almost done. Uh, we're going to take it out, cover it up, and put it back in at 400 degrees. So three, two, bing! At this point, the pizza should be pretty crispy. You can take Raise my temp up to 400. Take a paper towels. Take off any grease off the top. All right. So now that we have this, we'll take about two tablespoons of sauce and cover our pizza with it. Drop to the side. Another great low carb pizza topping is pepperoni. Try to find the ones with no sugar at it or at least zero carb if you're outside of induction. To this, we're going to put on some sausage that I cooked up earlier. And some green peppers that came from our garden. that I sauteed earlier as well. And we'll top it off with some shredded Parmesan. Approximately a half a cup. So we're gonna put this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and check back then. I'll caption some pictures up and you'll see the final product. See you then.